Friday morning uh, out on the trail. Solid tree right here. Look at the width of that thing. Solid, but uh, I'm on the trail. Heading to a spot for Reed, and uh, the spirit just kind of guided me to start uh, making a quick video. Uh, I'm gonna get to my spot and start reading. The sun uh, is starting to rise in the east, as you can see behind me. There you go, kind of right past the tree line there, you're starting to see that, that golden light. Um, so the sun's coming up this morning, as soon as I got out here, it was pretty awesome. Uh, you can't see it anymore, but the moon was huge, and it was low. Um, it was a full moon, I believe. Um, it had kind of that almost like goldeny tinge, um, yellowish to it. And uh, so I just headed out on my job trying to get a good shot of it. Got a shot, posted it on the, uh, on the Instagrams. You can go check that out at Valiant Leash. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. Um, you know, I'm not too familiar with a lot of, um, you know, the, the, the moon cycles. I mean, I've briefly been introduced to them, but I haven't spent enough time studying them. Um, uh, Lord willing, in due time, you know, uh, that'll be a subject that I, uh, I study. Um, but right now, just in the word, as always. So let's get moving. Um, try to find my path. I'm going to flip the camera here so you guys got to get a view of what I, I see. Get my finger out of the way. You know what? I should have busted out the, uh, the uh, tripod. I've got this handheld. Next time, next time. Anyways, let's move. So th that is where I came from. Kind of seen um, like right towards the middle there. See from around that area is where I came in. And I headed over here to my big friend right here. There's actually a nest. Two nests. Right by this tree. Big strong tree. Strong foundation, strong roots. Um, yesterday I caught quickly a live stream by 52 blocks and he was talking about how important a, a good foundation is. And that's so true. Oh, you can check out 52 blocks on YouTube. Um, seems like a really uh, dope dope dude uh, talks uh, hand to hand combat and, and life and whatnot. but anyways I digress um, yeah the, your foundation is so important and what he said was you can have great technique but a horrible foundation and that won't do you much good you can have a really good foundation and not the best technique but you'd still be, you know, he says, still be able to knock someone out <laughs> if you were, you know, competing in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Uh, but it was all about the, the foundation. And, and as the Lord, you know, speaks, he is the cornerstone. So if the Lord is your cornerstone, then you will have a solid foundation. You kind of see the tops of the trees, the sun's starting to... To come through. Uh, I'm this way. I swear, it seems like sometimes the uh, the trees shift. Okay, once we get to our spot, read 
out of Proverbs 3 and Psalm 3. Actually, I read them yesterday. I actually haven't gotten my morning reading in yet, but I wanted to share that with you guys this morning. This is another little spot that might look familiar to you guys. There's my bench, my coat rack. Sustainable. Sometimes I like coming to this little spot. So you know what? I'm going to a different spot right now. Catch this uh, morning sunrise. There's the path. Here, tie my shoes, get loose. Got in action, always moving forward. Always taking action. This spot right here. There is, looks like two jets in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're leaving these long trails behind them. Oh, there you go. You kind of see them right now in the shot. I'm sure this beautiful sunrise will eventually turn to gray skies. But anyways, while we can have the sun, let's enjoy it. Alright. Try to put this down so I can read. I'm always using the to help out to hold the phone. That's crooked. There you go. That might be so much heat. Ah! Man down, man down. Good. Unless it's Let's flip the camera, hold up. There we go. Alright. Now we'll see if you in there. There you go. Oh, what? There's actually three planes. In the distance, right above the tree lines, there's a third. There's another. One. Oh, there's actually four because then there's the one that's heading that way. So yeah. Anyways, we out here, as the kids say. Um, Start reading. Try 
trying to figure out where to put the phone. Still, I didn't like it on the ground. Oh, I'm such a dope. I take that back. I rebuke that. I rebuke that. Oh, uh, not a dope. I take that back. Okay, that was not right. Our words are powerful. So when we say things that we, that when we use the, uh, the great I am, we should not be speaking negatory about ourselves. Rebuke what I said about myself and move on. It's not correct and it's not true. Tripod. Makes my life easier. Shout out to my homie Big Al who gave me uh, this, uh, this tripod. gyrating thing. The gimbal. The gimbal, I believe that's what it's called. The gimbal. Need some lotion. My hands are dry. Catch the sun. So I'm reading... Psalm, or Proverbs 3. What's up, guys? All right. I'm not going to be in the shot because there's no need for you guys to see my legs. Proverbs 3 since I'm already, I opened to it first. Put these guys back on. It is a little brisk. I think it's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. I am not sure what that would be in Celsius. Again, I have spoken on the equation, but I have not I'm yet to memorize it. I'm going to memorize that equation. All right, I'm going to start reading, guys. I'm reading out of uh, Psalm 3. A Psalm of David, when he fled from Absalom, his son. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that arise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help. For him in God. Selah. I love the word Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked. For the Lord sustain me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Say la. Blessings are upon us, his people. Salvation belongeth to the Lord. I'm going to move over to uh, Proverbs 3. So that was Psalms 3. We're moving over to Proverbs 3. 
This one's a little bit longer. How's the view? How's the view? All right, here we go. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandment. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not thy mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them around thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Can you guys hear me? In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That Those two verses right there, 5-6, are amazing. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. I needed a, a reminder of that. I must trust the Lord completely with all my heart. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I acknowledge the Lord. I acknowledge him, and he shall direct my path. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that in the distance, but that was amazing. Four geese in perfect synchronization came down, flew, and, and went into the water. Then their formation, it was pretty awesome. It was, it was like two in a row and then two side by side. And as they flew over by the tree line here, it turned into a perfect square and then came down into the water. They reminded me of the, uh, oh, what is it, the, um, the army... Uh, Golden Knights. The Golden Knights. Wow. That was pretty awesome. And right now I can see the sun and it has this golden peachy light to it. In front of it looks like those planes went and crossed and did like an X. You can kind of see the, the trail of the X. So, anyways, I'm going to continue reading here. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Ooh, let me rewind back to verse 11. I just want to reread those verses. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. So think of it. Even as a father, I have to correct my son. So does our Heavenly Father have to correct us from time to time but it's for our own good. Do not despise it. And do not be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. So, if you're angry at God, or if you despise his correction, don't. Don't be. He's correcting you because he loves you. And out of his love, he's doing so. Because he loves you like a son just like your heaven, or 
just like your earthly father, your heavenly father loves you. And it's funny because I think back in my life, I'm going to take a break from reading and, and give an example of my life. Um, cause hopefully this can help somebody. I didn't, as a youth, my father and I did not have a very good relationship. And I used to think that I wasn't loved by my father. And I think maybe that's why for so long I was away from my heavenly father. Because I felt that I couldn't have a relationship with God because of not having a relationship with my, with my earthly father. And I was so wrong because I was under my own understandings. But God, he showed me his love and his mercy and his kindness. And because of that, I have been able to build a relationship with my father now since I became a believer. You know, the power of forgiveness. I forgave my father. I asked him to forgive me because I wasn't always the best son. And as much as I used to think he wasn't a good father, that didn't mean that I couldn't give forgiveness. And I gave forgiveness. And when we, we I always start to pray the Our Father. You know, we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on heaven, in heaven, so on earth. Give us day to day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those that have sinned against us. Seven geese. awesome. So, I not only received forgiveness, but I gave forgiveness. And it's, it was a beautiful thing. And my relationship with my Heavenly Father, as well as the one with my earthly father, grows. And, and I seek, you know, that relationship with the Father, and that comes through reading Scripture, and that helps me um, in my day-to-day -day life. And it's been, you know, life-changing, and that's why I'm out here sharing this, and it feels so good. So I'm going to continue reading here. I just wanted to share that with you guys, because, yeah, I know I've I've been there. I know I've, I've I'm sure I have. You know, when something has not gone correctly in my life and I'm sure some part of me despised that correction at some point or didn't understand the correction or didn't know why things were happening but that was from the Lord even before I, I had the eyes to see him he was, he was there he was still guiding me And part of that growth is now seeing if, if you are being corrected to, to not be weary of it and do not despise it, but to acknowledge it and know that it's your loving Father that's telling you, hey, you got to fix this. Son, I needed to change this. Son, you can be better. And now it's like, okay, thank you, Lord. <laughs> yep caught my attention that's for sure so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys verse 12 for whom the Lord loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding for the merchandise of it is better
For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding, by understanding he hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall... Whoa. Victory. I am victorious. Verse 22, so shall, or we'll read 21 again. My son, let, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, thy grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yeah, thou shalt lie down and keep, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence. And shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause. If we have done if, if he have done thee no harm, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, for the froward is abomination to the Lord. But his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. But he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorner, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Wow. I'm going to switch hands here. Put my glove back on. It is brisk. That's about 24 degrees this morning. I think I'm going to end this stream with a little breathing, so feel free to join me. Breathe in your nose, out your nose, or breathe in your mouth, out your mouth. Or breathe in your nose, out your mouth. All right, let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, guys. With that, I leave you. Have a blessed weekend. Stay blessed. We'll talk soon.